Hello guys and welcome back to Star Sector. I know I kept you guys waiting for this episode, but I really wanted to make this uh, special, being the 20th episode. But I went a bit overboard and I'm gonna tell you exactly how and why. Uh, firstly, I now have roughly 3 million credits. <laughs> I did a lot of trading, did a lot of deficit trading. I think I will dedicate one episode to uh, that uh, specifically later on. Uh, basically trading missions as well as buying uh, stuff in excess and selling to deficits. I did a lot of piracy, of selling to pirate uh, uh, stations. And I did all of that. Also, uh, in the interim, I also did that because I was looking uh, for weapons. And I was looking for a lot of uh, Mjolnirs. I'm not sure I have any here. I should have some here. Either way, they were very rare uh, here, right? Uh, they were very rare to find. Uh, I initially, I even checked the, the the save file, and I didn't have any spawns. They just came later as I played more. Uh, I also had to buy more um, high velocity guns. Basically, I had to do a lot of shopping, and I also had to do a lot of money making, and I had to do all of those uh, for something. I'm sure uh, you guys already know why. Fitting the Conquest. Right, uh, just a short uh, update. The Conquest, let's get it out. Take this ship. Uh, let's also put ourselves in it. And let's actually also... Crew, 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 crew. Didn't have any music there, and uh, that's a bit weird. But uh, coming back to it, we did all of that, all of those, all that grinding, all that everything, in order to be able to fit this ship. Uh, I had to go looking for Hephaestuses because I hadn't. Uh, I also had to go finding uh, high velocity drivers, which I think all of the four you see here, I think they may be all that I have right now because they were very hard to find, very very hard to find. Um, now, you may notice one significant difference between my conquest and the rest of the conquests, which you may find in your game, and that is the slot layout. Uh, I always mod my game, uh, hard mod my game, so the conquest has the large missiles on the side and have the uh, medium missile hardpoints up in the front just because uh, I really love to play with squalls. Squalls are fantastic weapons as, uh, to break, to bring down shields, to make sure enemies stay uh, EMP'd out because they also do EMP damage. Uh, but having these uh, missiles up here in the front makes it almost impossible to hit anything, including any other capital ships, because due to the way that the missile AI flies, Basically, uh, everything will just miss because it's shot somehow to the side. Uh, basically, it just does not work with the ship. And I don't care if this is cheating. I don't care if... Uh, this may actually screw up a bit of the game in how the other sh conquests are fitted, but I think the engine should deal with that fine. However, uh, this is the compromise I make every day, every game when I uh, play uh, looking for this ship. Now... Uh, there, is a, there are a lot of ways to fit a conquest, and I've seen it on the forums. I love to go with Mjolnirs and Hephaestus uh, as the large guns. Mjolnirs do, do EMP damage, and EMP damage, as I've mentioned before with the squalls, is important on the conquest because it doesn't really have that much in terms of defenses. Um, it I use heavy armor on it. Uh, I We probably saw that my skill... My skills are completely maxed out, uh, defensive systems maxed out, uh, evasive, uh, impact mitigation. I am pretty much as far as I can go. Uh, also, yeah, this should be upgraded soon enough, but uh, I am also as, almost as far as I can go in uh, combat to get the most out of this ship. And the EMP is important because it keeps enemy uh, ships uh, guns like onslaughts and stuff like that EMP'd out unable to shoot at me while this entire ship 
does great fighting uh, most of what you'll be finding around, like uh, destroyers, frigates, uh, cruisers. It stutters a bit when f uh, fighting other, other capitals. It can take an onslaught one on one, but it will have a problem with paragons one on one. Um, especially the default ones with the tachyon lances, lances which can outrange the ship. But uh, it has Mjolnir's, it has Hephaestus's, for Hephaestus be um, because of two very simple reasons. One, um, it's uh, high explosive and you need a lot of anti-armor. Uh, that's why I didn't go with the uh, uh, autocannons, large autocannons, because I still want some 100% damage to armor. I didn't want another kinetic uh, weapon. And uh, the longer range and pinpoint shooting uh, is getting done by the hypervelocity driver, which also uh, does well to put pressure on shield ships. Uh, the defenses are with uh, burst speedy lasers, which I'm still toying around a bit with how I want to put them, uh, but I only really need four of them. Uh, because most of the uh, damage evasion will be done on shield and on tanking armor. This ship will very rarely leave a tough battle at 100% uh, armor. No, this is an armor, it's a midline ship that takes damage, that takes uh, heavy hits like reapers on the shields and you would take the regular kind of hits from other frigates and stuff like that on the armor. Uh, this sports with my skills right now, and let's raise this up to 85%. Uh, this sports um, exactly 1725 arm rating. And I think this is quite a bit bugged because um, in this version uh, you do not get 150% armor flat bonus from the skill from uh, which was that? Or, yeah, from this, from impact mitigation. It's not 100% armor for the damage reduction calculation only, it's 150% um, of the armor calculation multiplier. Long story short, it doesn't do a uh, job it's supposed to be doing, uh, which means uh, smaller hits end up going through your armor, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, also, uh, I have mentioned that I will be flying this ship uh, extremely aggressively. Uh, this ship uh, will just more or less circle the enemies. Uh, it's based on dumping flux very fast and have a lot of capacitors. I cannot keep my shield on forever. It's literally take enough damage, vent, which happens in under uh, three or four seconds. I don't have to wait an eternity for it to vent. And also I have maxed out vents and I have a flux distributor. Um, and the reason for that is it may be overkill, I may pull it back, but this ship I specifically want to, at most times, to fire both of the broadsides. This ship has a lot of firepower, and if I'm not using that entire firepower, I am wasting the capabilities of this ship. However, that said, uh, this is the 20th episode. We, I promised you guys we would be doing something cool and that something cool would be going to Penelope Star, which if I'm mistaken we still have a bounty up for it, let's check, yeah, we have a bounty up for the pirate base there which is a honking 320,000 credits. So we'll go to Penelope Star and we'll destroy that pirate base, we will destroy those pirate fleets and we will have a lot of fun doing it and hopefully not die horribly because Penelope Star is a full system. And I'm, my, my biggest actually uh, worry there will be just having all of these ships lose combat rating after combat rating after combat rating after just killing so many enemy fleets. Well guys, I did a bit of a jump cut here so uh, I don't... So I spare you guys 20 minutes of me fidgeting with the fleet. Uh, I had to do a few things. Firstly, uh, given the fact that the, the Conquest is pretty slow, it's an 8 speed ship, um, I pretty much had to uh, take the Apogee and both of my Moras, take them down to 8 speed as well because otherwise it's useless. Uh, I had uh, augmented uh, field drive on the Moras, I replaced it with heavy armor because, well, Moras. Uh, and that was pretty much all I needed to do, but it I don't want to use tugs 
because they only increase it by, by one. They don't no, they no longer increase the lowest speed of the ship. They just provide the flat plus one increase across the fleet uh, of speed, which isn't all that good anymore because the downside is pretty high, uh, given with the sensor radius uh, detection range actually. Uh, so uh, basically, I took uh, the, two, the two pirate uh, falcons out to play. Uh, they're gonna provide me with the area support. Uh, I'm gonna... I took out the Apogee because, well, of course, high resolution sensors. And uh, pretty much the rest of the fleet setup you already know. Uh, I am going to try to uh, not take that many fights in succession. This fleet isn't an Imba fleet. It will do well fighting, I know, three, four battles consecutively. But the CR hit I take battle after battle will be gruesome, so I have to manage that very well. Uh, given that uh, Penelope Star is a pretty active pirate system, I'm going to have to be very careful. Uh, and just get in, have some fun, and maybe get that pirate base down, and then get out. And the final tweet because I had forgotten to set out the fire on my burst PD lasers. And that's it, we are ready to go. Let's hope we don't die horribly. Just as a, as a reminder, uh, this is a, uh, for. This is a bounty for the hegemony, which we're still a bit shit with. Minus 46, I'm hoping it will get into the minus 35, minus 38 with what we killed there. But I'm not really certain. And that will provide me with a fair bit of cash. God damn it. Oh, okay, fine. And what does it got hit? That got hit. Right, I think uh, we've been to Penelope Star before, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Uh, the base is next to Elos, so we will not drop right on top of that. I'm gonna try dropping uh, at the outer jump point. Or in jump point doesn't matter. Just somewhere that's a bit far away from uh, the main action. I will have to check which of these uh, stable locations uh, have the um, have the um, in system burn speed, so I can hack that because I will need that to get away from uh, just getting ganked by pirate armadas. Okay, so I have to do this, this, and then I'll do whatever it, there is here. I'm gonna have to be careful with the battles I pick. Uh, again, it's not worth it if I deploy my even a quarter of my fleet every battle, uh, fighting off uh, tiny fleets, smaller fleets anyway. Okay, I'm engaging these guys before they have a chance to link up with uh, some other dudes and make a bigger death ball pirate fleet. It's mostly frigates. Mules are pretty, f are pretty hardy, but that shouldn't be a problem.
one uh, significant difference with uh, flying the Conquest than any other ships you've seen me fly so far is that I actually use A and D to turn the ship and I don't use shift to turn the cursor uh, mostly because I'm doing a lot more uh, using of the shield I'll be doing a lot more using of the shield uh, facing you know so to prevent uh, damage and that implies me not being able to actually use the cursor to point where my ship wants to go where I want my ship to go Also, I've seen people say that the maneuvering jets don't have a place on this ship, but I wholeheartedly disagree. They actually make the ship work, in my honest opinion. said, when you have the conquest, you have to fire both guns at the same time. Otherwise, well, just get any other ship. And yeah, this is why I said that I really want the, um, the squalls on the side and not just on the front because when they're on the side they can actually hit uh, what I'm aiming for, otherwise if they're in the front they would just always miss on the side. And even when they're not hitting they provide a bigger area where they can hit uh, potentially other than just you know throwing all of them on one side of the ship. Okay then, let's carry on, let's uh, capture this, well, hack this actually. Okay, this is a slightly bigger fleet than before, but uh, entirely doable.
For this, let's do a full deployment. I will uh, split my fleet on this. I don't really need any of these, but uh, given that it's a pretty big fleet, I would want ships to hold both flanks. Uh, so that allows me to actually run the front of the battlefield uh, a lot better. Uh, the one thing that you do not want to happen when you're flying a conquest is get singled out. Yeah, just I just remembered um, in the last battle how I actually uh, flew my conquest before. Um, basically, what's important is that I always have this overlay with the weapons, uh, which is by clicking, you know, one and then clicking four or five, which right now are empty uh, slots for me. Uh, and when I want to shoot the squalls without pushing two and then clicking to fire, even if they actually fire when you're not holding down the button because it's a long burst, uh, I just stay on whatever four or five that I am and I go out the fire on the squall uh, on the squall missiles which basically uh, triggers them to fire and then turn off out the fire right after that so basically I have a uh, fire squall uh, and stop firing squalls but given that there are birds they continue firing so I can actually uh, choose whenever I want to use them a lot better than actually scrolling through the uh, the weapons
Okay, I lost exactly nothing. That's great. I will hurry them and just move on. that so basically we should be having uh, 20 yeah 20 max burn here and actually let's see how much we have without yeah 11 that's very good I would rather fly just a bit under the radar uh, because I don't want to draw all that much attention uh, between the bouts when I'm repairing Let's try to avoid that. Let's hack this as well. Right, so now we have a fair bit of sensor range and actually Let's start uh, sniffing around their main base. And let's check actually that we are not wasting time here. Yeah, 78 days remaining, totally fine. On that bounty for the base. This is one plate. Let's try not engaging them all too close because I don't want to fight the, uh, the base and the actual pirates at the same time. Oh wow, that's a fair bit of ships. That is a fair bit of ships. Okay, a lot of nebulas, a lot of support. Not that horrible, but still. I do not want to fight this, 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 and this. Let's just save our game. Okay, perfect. I caught this uh, fleet off guard compared to its friends. And uh, yeah, I'll probably do another full deployment just to be sure. Uh, ECM starts being uh, important in these uh, larger battles. ECM basically means uh, the side with lower ECM loses uh, a maximum amount of uh, weapon range, and you don't really want that. That interferes with a lot more things than just weapon range, that actually interferes with how the AI flies and how many risks it takes, how basically it does a lot more than just a flat 10% uh, or however much it is. Uh, maximum range reduction. Also, I technically 
would eventually want to get another ship, maybe two small ships made to frigates or something that would uh, provide a lot of anti-fighter uh, support, anti-flag support, and I'll, uh, give them an order to escort me, but uh, that's later on. Fire there. I'm actually trying to keep both of the targets within my arcs at the same time. Okay then, right. This is a clusterfuck. I will resign this order. I don't need my guys trying to kill, get this for no real good reason. I will actually want them just to sit back and provides pressure on the enemy ships as I go around the battlefield killing them pretty much. So I'll, tr I'll try to head up here. Uh, they still provide a fair bit of su um, support for this, but these are quite a fair bit of firepower and I'm this will break not all that long in the future. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'll probably, probably just head up, try to get these out of the, out of the fight fast because you provide a lot of firepower with the fighters and the bombers. And then we'll see. I should probably back off. I'm right in the thick of it here. Uh, let's do some actual tacticalizing. I swear that's a word. I want that destroyed there. I want people to ignore that because we already have it. These do a good job holding that there, but I actually want to give a strike target on this. Okay. And that should be it.
also have to be very careful, very, very careful with uh, torpedoes on this ship. But man, do I love it. I mean, I could be flying a face rolling onslaught of Paragon, but it just ain't the same fun. And yeah, you will end up using the <laughs> shield more often than not for uh, just deflecting stuff off of your path. Absolutely perfect. I have lost exactly zero ships. However, I will not harry them. I will let them go because I don't want to waste time. If I'm mistaken, if I do harry, yeah, slows down your fleet. I do not want that. I'm in hostile territory. Let them go. Let's drop some of the junk. I'm waiting here for a bit, so um, repairs are carrying out, uh, going dark, just for them not to see me all that well. And I'm gonna do a um, scavenge soon enough. Also, in full respect, I think I should have kept a bit more of the um, Colossuses for uh, carrying uh, goods home. is mostly uh, wrapped. Let's do the level ups. Uh, it's always a bit of a hassle, but I think yeah, I'm gonna take a new skill here. That should be roughly fine. Right, this plant has a magnetic uh, field, so that's why it's hiding the ships around it so well. Okay, is it completely undefended right now?
All right, it won't. Technically, they could trade with you, but this one won't trade with me because I have just uh, killed a fair bit of things. It'll take many months until the commotion dies down. Right, so considering military options, given that it's an absolutely undefended star base, we will engage the orbital station. This actually may be just way too easy, to be honest. And let's take some of the hardier ships. But to be honest, that's really about as much as I think I need. Add in some hammerheads just for the sake of uh, extra people around and that should be it. Still, this is a far cry from the amount of uh, fleets that were uh, scurrying around uh, the station earlier on. Oh, that hammerhead really went all in, didn't it? And this is all, all of these uh, disabled. A lot of it comes from the actual EMP damage I'm putting out. And that was it. Oh, fuel capacity. Let's drop some fuel, actually. So we don't spend a hell of a lot in uh, supplies. Let's put that there because minus 25% high explosive damage taken by shields that pretty much means less damage from reapers take, taken on your shields which means a hell of a lot for my conquest. And of course the guys are now coming back. But uh, actually I think this might be a decent spot just to uh, save up and uh, get this uh, 20th episode to a close. Um, again, it's I've waited for this ship for a long time and this is mostly my goal for the, I don't know, medium to end of the game uh, every time. Because it's so fun. <laughs> Uh, we'll probably just uh, clean up a bit in uh, Penelope Star next time. And uh, after that, we I, I did some research on colonies and we may do a colony, may, but we will see. Uh, honestly, I just want to do more uh, fighty fighty battles battles with uh, my new fleet. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.